am my what's up you know if my black girl what that have to do with you a grown woman tried to fight me because she thought she thought I blocked her I'm very blunt with certain stuff isn't it? If I don't, if I don't feel like talking to you, I won't talk to you. Or if I'm in a mood, I won't talk to you. Or if I find out that you're fake, or you're just not with me, I won't speak to you. I used to talk to this guy. I'm going to call him Vince. Me and Vince used to talk, and and. We had. Uh, he lived with his. Well, we don't go to school, so of course. He lived with his mom, his older brother, and his older sister, and his niece, which is his older sister's daughter. So. We met, and, and at first, I'm not going to tell you no lie. At first, everybody was good. But I had a special, special place in my heart. For his mom, she not left me to nothing. Mom, and, and I'm going to tell you why I said this. Is me? I, I had a special place in my heart for that lady, cause she not steer me wrong no time. She always keep me in the know. She always make me know if like, what I'm telling you this. If you threaten my life, you get tell her I say yo, me go, me cut her off or me go end her life. As it turns, so and she only want to glimpse me. Sasha, come here. And me and I got sit down in our room and she, um, she lock her door. Now we talk a little and then she started telling me. Now, Vince, Vince's sister, I'm going to call her Vinit. <laughs> Vinit was dating a guy from the community. But we call him village lawyer simply because I don't have any other name to give him. And uh, I remember Vinet's mom used to always see me and say, Sasha, did is it true that this happened? Is it true that that happened? Listen. Nobody like in other community there eh? nobody never liked me. And most of the things that they didn't like me for, never had nothing to do with them. One and two, it was a lie. But you know, your opinion, nobody not care if you hear your side of the story. And that's fine. I've lived past it, so that's fine. I remember her used to always come to me, Vinet's mom, you know, Vinet and Vince's mom, the, the two of them mother. Well, I the same mother, but you get me, I say. She used to always come to me, they don't call her Miss Madge. <laughs> Miss Madge used to always come to me and say, Sasha, is it true that this happened? Is it true that that happened? You know, say, you know, say a village liar tell, um, tell Vinet and she had tell me back. Or, you know, say the two of them are tell me. And me, I say, but first of all, me and Vinet good, because, mind you, when I say me and Vinet good, me and her are good, because, or at least, so I thought. Okay. When I say me and her are good, I mean, if she go road, she asks me for work with her. If she want, if she do her ear, she knows I do hear. Or at least we a try a thing. She say, "Oh, Sasha, boo, you can do this to me, please, isn't it?" Or she da say, "Oh, Sasha, boo, you can, you can do, you can do my baby ear for for go school Monday morning, and I would, I would ensure that she's fixed." Would I sit down and would I chat, would I listen to music, stuff like that, isn't it? But I guess that was just a front, because you can't, there's no way that you can be into me. You can't say me, your friend, family, sister, anything at all, and you chat me with somebody where, let's face it, now I'm not better for you. <laughs> my, my older cousin never passed style. So whenever them see me in a, and them see me with somebody where them know, so not like me, or them ear, so the person I speak ill of me, they must let them say, you see, you can't be good, be careful. Because you see that, 
that woman there is that girl there is that boy there so them, so them stay so my older cousin and, and some other people that come to me and say oh you smile up and laugh up with that girl there and she not have nothing good to say about you I never hear you say nothing bad about her yet but she not have nothing good to say about her and I don't know it got to a point where I was tired of people coming to me and saying that that would just stop going over them yard if Vince wanted to see me he had to come to my grandmother's gate, call me up on my phone, and tell me the same day I do. So I just stop going over there because I can't. Like, I can only take so much and no more. And sometimes, back then, sometimes I eat chip and go. And, and when it go, you know, it's not nice, isn't it? You know, no, say. She like she takes me the like she takes me the the Thursday night and she uh, she she asks me something and I answer, isn't it? I think it was some gas station. I think I'm going to gas station the night before. I had a bad habit of going to the gas station at midnight. Every time the road is safe for me because never, nobody never did that get take away. Well, people always get take away, but it just never. God did the Bible side. Me just, me I put it like that. Me I leave it at that. God did the Bible side. I don't know what I'm going to say. It was just her number. And you know how WhatsApp had this thing where they say it where it was a setting. And it still is. But now you actually find a setting. You actually see it in the settings in writing. Where if you don't save the pers a person's number to your phone, they can't see a DP. Your, dis your display picture. So her number wasn't saved in my phone anymore. So she couldn't see my DP. So she texted me the night for I don't know if that was a, 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 a test or or a check to see if her number was really saved. But she texted me, isn't it? Oh, and I did turn off my um my two tick, it was only one tick. So she messaged me and she basically asked me a question and I responded. Like I said, I don't remember what the question was. But the next day, like I think midday, so I sleep. And I guess my mommy went to shop or she just a walk or something. Mind you, I can't tell you if uh, my mother called to she or if I just she see my mother. But I think I called she called to her. I think my mother called and called to her. And she was like, I don't want you to see me and chat to me because you're your daughter, hypocrite. And my mother said, I'm me, I deal with so. No I lie. Mommy said to her. Mommy said to her. What did she say to her? She said what you, oh yeah, she said what you say? Is it mean? I guess she thought she was joking and she said it again. So she said I want um I don't know what she said to mommy after that. But mommy coming out of the house, sleep. <coughs> and imagine you imagine sleep. <clears throat> and your mommy a cuss, your mother a cuss. And she, me, like, me basically get up and me, me turn to her and say, Mommy, is what happened. And she's like, Me no not away. Me no not away you and Binet have, you know. But, me could have been girl, mother and girl come and disrespect me. So I went, I let me get up, like, I couldn't, I, listen. The calm, I, I, I was so calm and still sleeping, I think. Maybe that's why I was so calm. And I go, and I go to Vinet's mom, because I was calling Vinet, and she wasn't answering. So I said, when she came, I said, Oh, Vinet, fail to see me, and I said, I'm something to her. You get me? Like, go that for? Same time, she started saying, I don't know what happened, and I don't know. Mind you, she already knew what happened. I don't know what, and she's there saying, I don't know what happened, you know. But tell me, and I tell her. While I'm there explaining it to her, not knowing that she she knew and heard what, what went down, Vinet comes running to the grill. My son never said already, I'm a done chat. My son never said already, I'm a done chat. And she had gone with herself, and a girl come right out, right? She, she ran right out. Literally, I don't know. I guess I why I clicked in my head. 
because I started to feel shame. And I started to cuss. I started to cuss at her. And, and her whole thing was, oh, you hypocrite, you can't chat to me. You think I'm not here, you think I'm not here, you block my palm water. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Somebody said, if I don't make you a beer, so am I? What's up? Like, am I? What's up, you know? If my black girl, what does that have to do with you? So she's saying that I, me, black her, but I still laugh up in her face. I'm saying, first of all, you're not blocked. Your number just not saved. Come in the one you see my DP, for one. Come and tell that you chat with people. You see me? And every time you chat with somebody, they come. I don't know if I like them or like you or what, but they come back to me and they say it to me. And me just assure you, say, me not run up in you, me not push up in you. So a, a guy came in the middle and he, cause me have, me have a tendency for whenever I'm upset or I'm arguing with someone, me like me walk closer. We lose that drama, me always walk closer to the person. And he stood in front of us and he was like, yo, just go on down, go on down, go chill out. Isn't it? <clears throat> Cause every listen, she, me need to draw a proper crowd, you know. Like she run out her yard and she a she in the lane and she a go on with herself and she a cuss me and tell me all the things. And me a cuss her back. Never tell no one. Tell her I say, cuss her about her man, cuss her about herself. Tell her all the things. And. It's like, this is one thing I never understood the people. Yeah, of course, me in front of you, me in your face, or whatever the case might be. You have the opportunity to swing, punch me, kick me, thump me, box me, stab me, anything. But it's when somebody come for say, yo, done the squabbling. You want to throw a punch? You want to fight? Like, and me never have no sense at the time. So when she's like, listen, the guy came in, in the middle of us and in part, he might like, in this guy, say, yo, go on down, isn't it? Go cool down. And he said to she, big man, keep in mind, through all of this, this is not a teenager like myself at the time. This is a grown woman. Swing on her and, hey girl, how are you trying to, eh? You think me have somebody to play with? Now imagine little tuku tuku shot me, stuck under the man and at this point and a me and a she my grab me no and a she swing and me. Let's imagine some duck under him and I've got face for me say swing again, swing again. She never swing, she just attack. She just attack. Talking never did that help me because at this point I wanted like, I genuinely wanted her to swing. I don't know what we talk about the time but I wanted her to swing. But she never did it though. I guess she never expected me to respond that way, but she never swung. My mother, in return, came and she gave me a wedgie and led me back to my grandmother's yard. The moral to this story, but what is this sick, ridiculous idea that the people, we don't even build it, build, no build it, or what? We want to build it now in the brain, say, it is okay to bully someone because they don't save your number or they don't watch on the status or yeah or if they don't put up a DP is a problem like what is what is this what is this listen like and moral of the story stop being fake Stop being fake. If you don't like someone, like outside work, where well, you know, you don't, you know, there's, a, there's, you know, there's the same. You don't, you don't have to like me, but you will respect me. Stop being fake. Listen. If I don't like you, best believe, and any of my, whether friends or associates, can tell you this, I will not talk to you. Isn't it? I will not talk to you. But before I go, guys, please like, share, comment, 
subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you guys will be notified whenever I make a new upload on YouTube so guys make up